Hey guys, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. I went to the Goodwill bins again and I found some really fun things. Um, a lot of things to resell. I have a couple of things to keep and craft with, um, but I think this trip was mostly um, stuff to resell. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. I do have a few things. Um, so I don't know if it'll be one or two hauls. We'll just see how this one goes. All right. The first thing I have here is this book. It is a stencil book. As you can see, this is the front and this is the back. Um, is there a year? Yes, it's 1981 and it was put out by Random House. So this is what the inside looks like. I did not look this up to see what the price was on this, but I thought that this had some crafting potential. So we have like some, a spider here, so maybe Halloween, and then we have, is that baseball? Yeah, baseball, and then Valentine's Day cutouts. Um, we have some alphabet stuff, so, I may list it to sell, and if it doesn't sell, I'll be happy to keep it so that I can try to craft with it. I did pick up a couple of puzzles for the kits that I work with. Um, this is a John Deere one, and this is a Thomas the Train one. I like picking up this brand Ravensburger puzzles because the pieces are actually very sturdy and the kids can get a better grip of them. I bought these two booklets to resell, and it is a shop along organize, organize, organizer, sorry. And um, it has pockets here in the front, like a clear one. And then it tells you, you can check off as you spend and kind of keep track of your spending. So I will most likely sell that. I have this game, Don't Break the Chain. Um, I read the directions and it seemed funny enough and my family and I like to play games. We like to have game nights, so I thought that that would be fun to add. I found these um, candles here. I think it is West Elm, yeah. And the scent is Red Berry. And I did pick this up to resell, but when I smelled it, it just, I mean, it's just, it, it was very, um, floral and Christmassy and um, I think I'm gonna hold on to these because they smelled amazing. I have this tray here. It is a chip and dip tray I'm thinking. Um, it is plastic and I just really like the floral and uh, my kitchen is green so I thought that this could go well. I will try to list it. If it doesn't sell, I will hang on to this. But I thought that was a fun find. There is no marking. So if you guys know who made this or who put this out, let me know down below. I found a couple of cross stitch kits. So there's this one here. This one is a Jan Lin. Or is it? Yeah, Jan Lin. Sorry, it took me a second. Um, let's see, it's from 1992. And then, I'm not sure what it was, but it seemed like people <laughs> donated a bunch of these thumbtacks. So um, this is a nice green, like avocado green color. Um, kind of similar to that tray I picked up. And then there are these floral ones that are still new in the package. I wonder if the same person donated all of these. Um, I thought there were more. Okay, so I think these are nail tools, but I'm we'll be using them for card making and stuff. It's like a little uh, ball point at the end. So there's different sizes, and I will use that to like make my cards or different crafting projects. So I have. A thing that's tangled here. So it is this home sweet home um, mother goose and the family like I think key hanger maybe or I guess you could hang whatever you want. It does have a marking it says made in India. Um, that's the only marking on it but I thought that was very cute. I will try to sell that and then I did pick up 
a bag of bags. So there are this like see-through kind of mesh bag. And I do smell, smell. <laughs> I do sell smaller things. And so I thought that um, it would be nice to have like a decorative bag to put an item in, like especially jewelry. So that's why I picked those up. Here is another um, needlework kit. It's a Bucilla, um, but I did tuck in a couple of pieces here on the back. So we have this guy here. He is a light up tiki thing. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't see. Oh, you can see that there's the light here, but you can't see him lit up, but I thought that he was really cute. Um, I don't know like who would have made this, but I just couldn't leave him behind. I have a head. If you guys know who this might be for, might be for leave a comment down below. Um, it is a broken hat, a broken head that I, with a hat that I picked up from Miss Stone Home. Um, she crafts with these, so um, I picked that up. Hopefully she'll find that useful. I do have this handmade, handmade mug. So it looks like this. No marking down below. Looks like someone tested a pen or something. Um, very clean inside, so I will pass that on or I will sell that. That was this piece of artwork and it is marked 1976 on the back. I did see a lady carrying this around and um, I was like, oh, I wish I would have seen that. And then um, she put it down. So I went ahead and picked it up. So that is very cool. And um, I like that it's framed. So I think I will try to sell that. Here is the other pack of thumbtacks. So here's a white one. And then here's just like a gold one. What else do we have? I have this uh, vintage vegetable peeler. I think that's what it is. I picked this up to display. I have a milk glass display that is also um, has a display with some like primitive kitchen supplies or kitchen tools so I think I will add that to that collection. I picked up this cigar box here. Ooh, I guess I put something in there. <laughs> Better get that out. So we have this here. Um, I was either going to craft with this or maybe keep it to store things. I usually use their cigar boxes that are cardboard to craft with them. This might be a little heavier, but it might work. So we have this little trinket dish here. It is. It says it's two o'clock and there's an elephant and it is a made in Japan piece. So I don't know, is it like an ashtray maybe or could be just a, like a trinket jar? So I was happy to find that. There were some other made in Japan pieces, um, but they were all broken. So I managed to rescue that one. There is this adorable bunny. He has a very cute face. Let's see if you guys can see that. And it is Rosen or Rogan. I can't read that. I'll have to look out that marking. Uh, I, I have seen it before. I just it's not coming to me but there was this size and there was a bigger size I think it's in the other bag so here's that I have this bag here and there is a brand new Starbucks Christmas mug. Look how large this is. I mean, this is like maybe two cups worth of coffee, maybe two and a half. Um, it does still have the tag, the sticker on it. Um, it was originally $14.99. So I have no room for another mug, so I will be passing that on. And then I found 
some unfinished like cross stitch pieces or needlework. So there's this bag here. Is this going the right way? No, it's this way. So I guess it's a cover of some sort, maybe like a, I don't know if you guys can see, but is that a rooster and a chicken maybe? So I found, it's like a linen type material and it did come with the paper. So let's see what it says. It says Rooster Kitchen Ensemble Mixer Cover. Is there a date on here? I don't see one, but here is the paperwork that goes with it. So I was happy to find that. I will. Mo I haven't looked it up, but I will try to sell that. I know that people like to find these or work on these older um, pieces. So I think that is it for this haul video. I will do the rest in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did. And um, I'll see you in part two. Talk to you later. Bye.